Well, hello, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and today you find me working outside. I'm doing a little bit of garden things, prep work actually, to get my garden, my vegetable garden started slowly but surely. And as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of my totes, not all of them, but a lot of them behind me. How about I take you down there for a little tour? <laughs> I bought these totes here last spring and most of them, but not all of them, most of them are fishing totes. The fishing totes that the fishermen take on the boats with them. And because they are fishing totes, they're made to be very durable, so they're perfect for growing vegetables in. And they endure all kinds of weather. And you see I've got some branches in there. There are a lot of deer that live around this area and they come right onto everybody's lawns and properties <laughs> to munch on grass and to graze. And I have these branches here as a deterrent to keep the deer out of my totes and out of mischief. I want a bigger vegetable garden this year. So I headed down to Vernon Dion Fishing Supplies and picked up some more totes. Yes, and so Joshua and I have actually been working with those new totes. We've been actually using them for the plants that are inside the house. We've had a little furry friend come visit us off and on throughout the day. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> yes, she's been a big help as you can imagine. And I've been sorting through my things for the gardening supplies. I have some diatomaceous earth over there and my tools and some pe uh, plant food. These here are for germinating more seeds. Joshua put them nicely in that pile there for me. He's been a big help today. And I have my baler twine in here. These are great for tomatoes and stuff, for helping with support. Yeah, so I've got different things in this tote here. Supplies and my tools. And I'm just basically organizing, tidying things up, getting things ready for the growing season. Some of the plants inside the house have actually outgrown their little containers so they needed to get into the bigger totes for them to stay healthy and happy and to grow to maturity. So Joshua and I were very busy, very busy working on that as well. We have the zucchini in this first tote here. They were outgrowing those little containers and these here are the cucumbers. They're going to go into that tote. There's some branches in there and some more soil that Josh put in. And I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable peelings and fruit peelings and different things like that. That type of compost, eggshells, coffee grinds, those things like that. And then add more soil before the cucumber plants go in. These here are outgrowing those, as you can see. So it's time for them to graduate and go into the bigger tote. This tote here is for the peas. The peas have definitely outgrown the containers that are in the living room, in their little containers. And they're going to need a lot of support, so Josh and I are going to get a trellis from the shed 
and get them all taken care of. I just put some compost in there and I'm going to top that up with a lot of soil and then put those cucumbers right in that tote. But right now I'm just going to put a layer a layer of soil on top of that compost. I pretty much have everything organized here today that I want organized. So I'm going to put everything back into the shed. I think it's going to rain a little bit more, so I'm going to hurry and put things back in the shed. And I will show you what the totes look like inside the house. Yes, I took those totes in the house and uh, I'll show you what that all looks like. This one here has zucchini. And then in those smaller pots, there are some peppers and smaller tomatoes in there. In this tote here, we have the cucumbers there and at the end. You can see they're doing really well in the house. And they'd handled the transition from the smaller pots to the bigger totes. Um, they handled it pretty good. They seem to be doing really well with the change. And these here, that's Stacy's lemon plant that she gave us. And that is, what is that there? Basil. But the cucumbers are doing well. And the zucchini is doing really well. And now I'll show you how the peas are doing. I have the peas in the porch, actually. And the window's just right there. So they've got some window and sunshine coming through there on sunny days. And they need a lot of support. They're at the age and stage where they need a trellis to climb up. So I've got that all rigged up with some baler twine there from some hay bales that Stacy had. But that'll give them a lot of room to grow. And as time continues, just in the center there, I'll probably plant some yellow beans or green beans to grow in the middle. But I don't want to overcrowd the peas, so I'll be very careful. But that's how things are progressing here, my friends. And I'm really happy with how things are going so far. <laughs> I want to thank you, my friends, for joining me here today. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube... <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> the YouTube thumbs up or press the subscribe button that would be great <laughs> and I have more vlogs coming up so stay tuned <laughs> and I'll talk to you all soon talk to you soon my friends bye <laughs>